Hey guys, welcome back to Gutman Arts. My name's Joe Barlow, and today we're going to be looking at how to create a neomorphic element within After Effects. But first, run titles. <laughs> So today we're going to be taking a look at creating a neomorphic or soft UI element in After Effects. I'm going to be showing you two different ways of creating both light mode and dark mode. Each have advantages over the other. Now in both versions we're going to need to set up the comp exactly the same. First create both a background and an element. This is most likely going to be a button with a soft UI design so I've gone ahead and made a rounded square. You will see both the background and the element are the same colour, that's important so make sure you've done that. It doesn't matter what color you've gone with, just that they're the same. So version one. In this version we're going to be using drop shadows to create the effect. So head over to the effects and presets panel and let's find ourselves a drop shadow. Drag this onto your element and then go ahead and duplicate the effect. Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC. Now in this version we will have three colors. Our base color that our element and background is made up of an absolute black and a colour slightly lighter than our base colour. Now as I'm using an off-white with a hex code of F2, 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 my colour slightly lighter is going to be an absolute white. So if you're being adventurous using a different colour, keep that in mind. I'm next going to go ahead and rename the drop shadow effects the first dark and then the second light. Now all we need to do is input the settings and we will have ourselves a neomorphic element. So first the dark element. Your shadow color should be absolute black. Set the opacity to 10%. Your direction should be set to 135 degrees. Bring your distance to 30 and then adjust your softness to 80. Now if we head over to the other drop shadow that we've named light, first set your shadow color. Now this color should be slightly lighter than your base color. For me again it's absolute white but if you've gone with a blue then go with a slightly lighter blue. Then you want to raise your opacity all the way to 100%. Bring your direction round to minus 45 degrees. Then your distance to 20. And finally adjust your softness to 180. And there you go, with just these two drop shadows, you have yourself a nice neomorphic element. Now I did say we we're gonna be looking at how to do two different ways today. This second way is quick, if not quicker to make and easier to adjust. But there is an ever so slight difference visually. So as before, we want to create a base and our element. In fact, we want to create two layers of our element this time. Now on the bottom of the two element layers, we want to add a effect called bevel alpha. Simply adjust the edge thickness to 20. And once you've done that, go ahead and drop a Gaussian blur below it. Either the legacy or the new, it doesn't matter. Now that you've done that, you want to set the blur level to 50 and that's version two. So of course there are pros and cons to using each method. If you're looking for a cleaner timeline and more adjustable effect, then version one is the one you want. But if you want speed and something that is easier to convert to dark mode, then version two is what you want. Speaking of dark mode, let's move on to the final part of the tutorial. So each of these can be adjusted to a dark mode or even any other color fairly easy. Again, version two is much easier and quicker. Now I've gone ahead and set up these two versions side by side. On the left we have version 1 and on the right we have version 2. And I'm going to be adjusting them side by side so we can see the difference. First you want to change your base colour. I'm going to be switching mine to a dark grey. I'll be doing this by just dropping a fill effect on it and selecting the colour. You could do this by going to layer and then going to solid settings. But I'm going to be copy and pasting this for ease. So go ahead and copy that fill effect and then go to your version one element. Paste the fill effect into the effect controls and then drag it above the drop shadows. The only other thing you need to adjust is the drop shadow we named light. For this, go to the shadow color and color pick the fill. Now click it again and adjust it so it's slightly lighter than it was before. And that's version one. If we move on to version two, all you want to do is paste that fill effect on both of the two layers first on the top layer and then on the second layer, making sure on the second layer it's again above every other effect. And there you go, that's two ways of making a soft UI in dark mode and light or within After Effects. As you can see, there's one or two visual differences, 
but they're the two methods I've created today. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or something you would like to see in the future. Until next time, goodbye.